next special test that we're going to be doing is going to be for the anterior cruciate ligaments at the knee. The first test that we're going to be doing is, going to, is called an anterior drawer test. For this one we're going to have the patient uh, supine on the table uh, with their hip and uh, knee extended. Um, the athletic trainer is going to be down by the, uh, the lower leg. Um, and what we're going to do for this one is uh, we're going to flex the, the knee to about 90 degree and that places the hip at about a 45 degree flexion. Uh, the athletic trainer is going to sit on the patient's uh, foot um, and uh, while they're in this position um, my two hands are going to grasp uh, around the, ga the gastrocnemius muscles and my thumbs are going to be on the sides of the patellar tendon and what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to draw the tibia anteriorly towards me um, and I'm looking for any uh, anterior translation of the uh, tibia. I'm also looking for a, a good end feel. If there's no good end feel or pain at that point, then that would be a positive indication for an anterior cruciate ligament sprain. The special test that we're going to do, um, relax there. The next special test that we're going to do is called the um, prone uh, or modified Lachman test. Um, and this one we're going to have the person, the patient, uh, prone on the table um, uh, at first with the knee extended and then what we're going to do is we are going to um, flex the knee to uh, passively while it's, we're going to flex it at about 30 degrees of knee flexion um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, if we need to, we can place a, a pillow or a towel under the uh, distal uh, femur if we need to, um, or we want the uh, knee possibly over the edge of the table. Um, and then what we can do is uh, the athletic trainer is going to support the, uh, the ankle. Uh, at the edge of the end of the table um, uh, between the, the hips and the ribs um, or the elbow uh, and then we're going to uh, palpate uh, the adjacent uh, patellar tendon uh, up here in the front or below and then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, grab uh, the gastrocnemius um, uh, with our thumbs here on the posterior side of the, the proximal lower leg and what we're going to do is we're going to draw the tibia uh, anteriorly downwards um, towards the floor okay, in this direction and then what we're feeling for is uh, increase in anterior, anterior tibial translation or lack of a firm end feel and if you have that then there that would be a positive sign for anterior cruciate ligament sprain. Special tests that we're going to do is called the Lachman test and for this one we're going to have the patient is going to be supine uh, with their leg extended, their knee extended um, on the table and the athletic trainer is going to uh, stand uh, at their uh, feet and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, uh, grasp the distal, the tibia uh, around the, uh, my thumbs are around the tibial tuberosity on each side uh, uh, with one hand and then with the other hand I'm going to grasp the distal femur um, just above the knee and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flex the knee to about 30 degrees of flexion and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the uh, tibia uh, anteriorly towards me uh, in that position and I'm feeling for any uh, anterior translation of the tibia or lack of a firm end feel and that would be if there were then that would be a positive sign for anterior cruciate ligament 
for the one modification for the Lachman test is to utilize a, a bolster or a towel. Towel. We're going to put uh, put that under the the knee joint, um, and then uh, just like the normal Lachman, uh, we're going to stabilize the distal femur above the knee, and then with our hand uh, under the uh, gastrocnemius behind the uh, tibia, uh, proximal tibia. We're going to draw the um, uh, tibia uh, anteriorly uh, while we're uh, applying a posterior stabilizing the distal femur. And again, we're feeling for a uh, end feel, uh, um, sticking or uh, laxity. Uh, if that were present, then that would be a positive ACL sprain. The next modification that we're going to do for the Lachman is we're going to have them again supine with their uh, knee extended. Uh, the athletic trainer or therapist is going to be on the uh, side of the table. Uh, their, their leg is going to be towards the edge of the table. Uh, and what the uh, athletic trainer is going to do is they are going to put use their, uh, their thigh uh, under the knee joint. And then they're going to, um, again, uh, apply uh, resistance uh, downward or posterior resistance or stabilizing the distal. Uh, femur, and then they're going to um, grasping the proximal uh, tibia. Um, they're going to um, draw the tibia anteriorly. Uh, again, feeling for an end feel or laxity or pain. Uh, very positive sign for an anterior cruciate ligament sprain. The last modification that we can do for uh, the person is going to be, um, again, having them toward, uh, to at the end of the table. And then we're going to uh, take their knee, uh, their lower leg, flex their knee to about um, uh, 30 degrees of flexion. And again, stabilizing the distal femur. And then with your hand around the the calf muscles, gastrocnemius, and then again at 30 degrees we're going to um, um, pull anteriorly towards me feeling for that uh, tra anterior translation or pain or uh, uh, no end feel for a positive sign for an anterior cruciate ligament sprain.